Good morning, everyone. How's it going? Let's make sure I got some music going here. Everything is hooked up and working well. How are you guys all doing? So many people on a weekday. <laughs> so happy you guys could hang out. Vimo, Brittany, how are you? So glad you could stop by. Aaron, Sans Exotics, Swifty, Heather, of course. Uh, Snowy Owl, hey, I'm here with my dogs. This is my first ever live stream I've joined. I love your videos. You're so talented and I wish you well on your videos to come. Anyway, you'll be quiet now. No, no, no need to be quiet. Uh, Snowy Owl, thank you so much. I really appreciate you being here. Uh, Drew, good morning. So many of my regulars on a weekday. Do you guys not work? You don't have to be at work. You don't have anything to do. You can hang out with me. <laughs> Average Ramen, Crazy Goat Gus, uh, Gators, Maja, Sock, hello, Will, Amber, hello, good morning, Booty, Leia, Zoo Empire. So happy to see all of you guys. If I look tired today, it's because I am. <laughs> I'm so tired. I, uh, I spent all day at Disneyland yesterday, so I didn't get home until late. I slept a decent amount. I slept like seven hours or so, but uh, really, really, really tired. So <laughs> bear with me today. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is get all these guys out. Close the zoo, go away. We're gonna work on our prairie dogs so that you guys don't have to protest. Uh, so we're in Mayberry Park Zoo today because I need to get this habitat finished. I need to get it finished so that I can turn it into a video and get it up on the channel for you guys. Can you guys go away? Am I gonna have to like manually move you? The zoo's closed, stop protesting. Goodness, I can't move you. That's an update. I used to be able to move the protesters. I remember because we did a Tolly Zoo episode about it. Apologies. Let me turn this off like a good streamer so it doesn't go off continually throughout the stream. Perfect. Uh, Caleb, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Heather, you don't work. This is your job and you do a good job at it. So I'm glad you are here. You guys voted yesterday and not surprisingly, you all voted for Planet Zoo, which I am happy to accommodate. Let me just, what is, what is even wrong? Social, uh, space, enrichment. Ugh. Goodness, this is sandbox. I don't want to have to worry about your needs. Are my settings not set correct on this one? I feel like they are. Oh, they're not. Okay, go away, all of this. Actually, aging and birth can stay on. Uh, mm, turn all this off. I actually didn't realize I didn't do this yet because this is the first animal that I've had in Mayberry Park Zoo. So we need to go through and, and get all of this. Enable protesters, there we go, that's the one we want. Go away, please. Now will you guys leave? Aha, that's what it took. <laughs> Get out, be gone, be gone. You have the same notification sound on your phone? Very cool, very cool. All right, so uh, yeah, this is the enclosure that we have to finish. Uh, well, we don't have to, but the enclosure that I want to finish I think I kind of want to move this out to the side is first thing. So coming back to it, looking at a habitat after you were building for a while and then taking a break and coming back with fresh eyes is always, always good. That's part of why like the lemur habitat, the black and white lemur habitat that I recently built is like one of the first habitats that I built um, in one in one sitting. Normally I don't do that uh, because of that reason. I like taking a break and looking. Go away, please. All right. Now, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna start with gutters. <laughs> I know that's kind of a random thing to start with, but I think I wanna start with gutters. Um, do you have zebras? If you haven't, could you please add them in today's stream? Um, we don't have zebras in this zoo. For those of you that are new to Mayberry Park Zoo, it's literally just an entrance. Entrance plaza here. You come in, there's a uh, unlabeled, unused building, which I think people were saying Restaurant, I'd have to double check my comments from that video, but I think you guys were saying restaurant, um, but then this is gift shop and bathrooms and ticket area, and then you come on through here, and the very first thing you hit 
is this little area. So I was gonna do um, maybe a sign, some rocks and plants right here, and then you hit the prairie dogs uh, for a very simple habitat. So that's, that's the goal for this. It's supposed to be a very simple habitat. Recently found your channel and you love it. Good morning, Emma. Thanks for stopping by. Oh. Oh, that's really hot. <laughs> kind of burned my tongue. And breaking my head over lost world chaos theory. Chaos theory is a lot of fun, huh, Drew? I've played a little bit of it. Um, really, really fun. Okay. Ah, uh, gutters is what I want to do. So let's record because now we're going to build. Start recording. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Uh, will you add any more animals today? We'll see. I want to start with the prairie dogs and get those done. And I was thinking, um, depending on what you guys feel, uh, it might be kind of cool to like complete this video with you, uh, in a sense of like, take the thumbnail and edit the thumbnail and, and all that kind of stuff. So I might take you a little bit behind the scenes, mostly just because I have to do that at some point. Uh, and today is my content creation day. Uh, so that's what I'm going to work on, but kind of show you the process on, on my, my thoughts and how I create the thumbnail and all that kind of stuff. So let me know. I don't know. I haven't quite decided yet. So if you guys have an opinion one way or another, uh, now would be the time to let me know, but I never place gutters or anything like that. So I've decided that I'm going to try to be a little more detailed in Mayberry park. So this is what we are working on changing a stinky diaper while watching the stream. <laughs> that doesn't sound like fun, but necessary. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, Brittany. I'm glad you could hang out with us. I know you are uh, spending some time on your own, so hopefully we can offer you just a little bit of company while you're, while you're at home hanging out. Uh, thank you, Michelle. I really appreciate it. That sounds so cool. Good. Awesome. I'm glad. Yeah, because I figured, you know, I got to do it anyway. And if you guys are interested in see it, I'm interested in seeing it. I'm happy to show it off. Um, it's it's very simple. I mean, I use Photoshop and, and it's more about taking the angle of the thumbnail and, and that kind of stuff. So do that. Feel like... This is on the right spot, right? I might lower this all a little bit um, when we get done putting it where it needs to be. But for now, this is okay. We'll change its color. I don't want it to be white either. <sighs> but yeah, anyway, so I am, I am very, very tired. Um, so if I'm a little bit more quiet than normal, that's gonna be why. Uh, I had a lot of fun at Disney yesterday. A lot of fun. Um, it was not that busy, which was great. We got up there probably like 1130 or 12, um, and we're there until a little after nine. Disney closed at 10 yesterday. So we always leave just, just a little bit earlier than closing um, because the rush of people trying to leave the park all at the same time is a lot of traffic and it's just annoying. So uh, left a little bit earlier than close, um, but we got to go on pretty much everything we wanted to go on. Um, we did skip a few things because um, Matt hurt his uh, back at work on Friday. No, on Thursday. What day is today? Today's Thursday. He hurt his back on Tuesday. Monday. One of these days he hurt his back. <laughs> I clearly don't know what day it is. Um, but anyway, I, uh, we skipped some of the like more vigorous rides because, uh, didn't want to, didn't want to hurt his, uh, his back anymore, but we did, we did the nice, easy kind of relaxing ride. So like Haunted Mansion and Pirates of the Caribbean and, um, stuff like that. Star Tours, that one was a little rough, but we did that one. Oh, let's see. 
Hello, friends. Just lurking today while you're working, but hope you're doing well. Hey, Sam. Thanks for hanging out and stopping by and lurking. It's one of my favorite things to do, actually. Uh, when Drew used to, way back in the days, when Drew used to stream uh, during the day for me, uh, I would put him on in the background if I had like a computer work day where I was doing lots of computer stuff and put him on his background noise. <laughs> Love doing that. So glad I can be your background noise today while you guys all watch me very interestingly place gutters on a roof. <laughs> I feel like I'm moving very slow today, but it's probably just cause I'm tired. I'm gonna say it over and over again cause I am. Um, but it was really nice weather at Disney yesterday. It was like 75 or so, like during the day. Um, and then at night it really didn't get that cold. Um, so it was really, it was really nice. It was a really nice day. God, the people watching at Disneyland too is like the best. It's one of my favorite things. So when we, uh, we took a break and we went over to Ballast Point in downtown Disney, the brewery restaurant place. And, uh, and got a beer and hung out <clears throat> kind of in the middle of the day and just sat there and kind of people watched. But I have to tell you, I was kind of striking out. Um, you know, the, the idea was to go to Ballast Point and get, uh, get a beer, get a drink, and just kind of hang out and whatnot. And they have this seasonal um, pear cider that I absolutely love, but they didn't have it because it's seasonal and I don't know what season. So I don't know where it came or where it went or when it, when it's available or anything like that. But anyway, it wasn't available is my point. And, um, so I tried this like chai cinnamon chai cider and I tried it first before I ordered it. And the first couple drinks were really good cause it was like cinnamony and light and just, it tasted really good. Um, but after I ordered it and had a, a lot of it, um, it was, it was not so good. It, I don't know. The flavor got old real fast. Um, so anyway, so Matt ended up drinking that and then I ordered a wine instead. And at first the waitress, uh, M messed it up. She brought me the wrong one. So then I had to wait for a while and get a new one. And then when I finally got the one that I wanted, the wine wasn't that good either. I don't know if I was just being picky or what it was, but <laughs> I was, I was massively striking out, uh, with that. So it's kind of a bummer, but I drank like half of it. And then we went back to the park. See, I'm wondering, this is the correct placing, right? For that. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know, for some reason it just looks weird to me. But I think that's correct. <laughs> what building are you working on at the moment? A little late to the stream, so didn't catch it. No problem. This is Prairie Dogs in Mayberry Park Zoo. So we are working on uh, the little black-tailed prairie dogs. Habitat that I started a while ago and I just, I, I need to finish it. So <laughs> kind of uh, been putting it off. A little bit so we need to finish it let's see which one are we going to use spin this around oh whoa, 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 whoa. hello there we go bring this over to the wall is this the right one it is mm, let's put it right there and then we can Connect this down to the ground. Beautiful. And then a little drain thing on the bottom. Beautiful. And then we'll kind of actually sink this down and then put some rocks because I don't really want the little drain part there. I just want the, I just want the little, the little part that shoots off from the wall. <laughs> that makes sense. Stinky diaper conquered. <laughs> yes, alone time has been rough. I cried a bit after putting the kids to bed again and again this morning. Happy to be hanging out with you guys. Oh, Brittany, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm glad you're hanging out with us. We'll be streaming for a couple hours. Savannah, if you're a basic pumpkin spice girl, I've been getting an iced chai latte with brown sugar and pumpkin cream cold foam. Ooh, that sounds really good, Brittany. Is that where from anywhere in specific, like Starbucks or, or a certain coffee shop? Cause that does sound really good. Will you do more of Tali Zoo? Absolutely. I missed last Friday because 
we were streaming. Yeah, we were streaming and that was the day that like everything came out at the same time, I think, right? There was a bunch of stuff that was happening on Friday. Oh, the Animal Crossing update came out. Ah, now it's not too hot. I'm not burning my, burning my mouth. <laughs> I have blueberry wine at home. That sounds interesting. I've never had blueberry wine before. All right, let's make all this gray so that it doesn't stick out so much. Actually, let's make it... No. Maybe... I was thinking maybe not so, like, true gray. Ugh, not that. That's, like, brown in color. There we go. How is that? A little bit of detail on there, I think. Oh, I think that's good. I think that's good. Starbucks. I'm sure Dutch or Dunkin' could do something similar. A Starbucks is right next to me. I actually have a Starbucks, a Pete's Coffee, and a, uh, it's like a mom and pop coffee shop that's like right next to me. Oh. I never thought so much detail could go into making a gutter. I know, they're time consuming. All right, let's focus on the inside of the habitat here. Let's go to enrichment and see what our little prairie dogs need. Black tailed prairie dog. Wow, this is it, that's all they like. Oh, okay, I guess so. Um, let's give them a little log right in front like this. I don't like the terrain modification. Ah. Give them a ball. If we put it here, is it gonna roll down the hill? I bet it will. Oh, okay, well, that's fine. It can stay there. <laughs> it can stay there. Excuse me. Oh, wrong button. Why are you being weird? Okay, thank you. Uh, maybe another one over here so that you guys have lots of tennis balls to play with. I want you under the ground. There we go. Habitat. Ooh, the watermelon is a good one. Let's put the watermelon right here. I need to, where are, let me see. Where are the settings? See, flattened terrain is not on. <laughs> hmm. Well, okay, let's do this. We'll place, no. We'll place it. Like so, and then, hello, then we will put it under the ground and hopefully, ow, oh, gonna be difficult. Thought that would work. Oh well, raise that up a bit, smooth it out so that it's not so high. There we go, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, putting enrichment items down and having them mess up all your terrain is always so painful. Hey Doodle Sims, how are you? I know it is. It really is. It's it's bothersome. <laughs> bothersome. Um I think that's that's good. I think that's good. We got to add a lot more rocks. Uh but let's go and actually look at what kind of terrain these guys or not what kind of terrain. What kind of What is this called? Trees, plants, foliage. That's the word. <laughs> what kind of stuff they like? Ooh, they like this plant. Oh, that's not, that's not the plan I was thinking of. I was thinking of not that one. Wow, they really don't like a whole lot, do they? What's this bush? That bush is kind of nice, right? What is happening? I like never get people texting me. Um, and uh, this morning I have like four or five text messages, so. <laughs> anyway. Is my mom. <laughs> uh, let's see. Semi lurking, but I've enjoyed a relaxing, productive day. It did lots of things for you. That is awesome. I love days like that. I love days where I can do lots of stuff for me. It doesn't happen very often, um, but I like them when they do. When they do show up, when they do turn around. Um, today my plans are, uh, this, and then I'm going to record another Jurassic World evolution episode. Um, I'm going to record another let's build a zoo episode. 
I will hopefully get this out uh, for you guys. Um, I'm gonna play lots of Animal Crossing because I got I got stuff to do with that one. Um, well, in the wild they avoid trees. Oh, these guys do. Yeah, but trees make everything pretty. So in a zoo setting, that's what I want. Do I want this to go through the log? Or just kind of around the edge of the log? Maybe bring, bring just a little bit. No, that's too much. That's too much. I like these manzanita bushes though. So maybe we do integrate some of these and just, just a, just a couple for some higher foliage like that. I think that looks okay. Let's do another one over here by this tree, this bush, spin it around like that. So I do want, I do want a tree in here, but probably, ouch, I was <laughs> sitting with my leg folded and it was making my knee hurt. Um, probably none of these. So let's get rid of that and that and see, is there this tree I actually really like. Um, so maybe we do this one cause it doesn't cast too much of a shadow. I want to be careful. Um, oh, you know what? Where is that setting? Highlight barriers, aha, go away. Thank you, somebody told me about that and this is the, the first time I've actually like looked into doing it. That's a fantastic setting because look, now the barriers are not in the way. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, yes, I brought Animal Crossing with me uh, babysitting today because it's a long day and there's two hour nap time. Awesome, yeah, I got a lot to do, a lot to do on Animal Crossing. I've been um, being, the patient builder. So I have waited for uh, days to pass by and I moved my house. I built a couple more bridges and inclines and deleted some stuff and all that kind of whatnot. But I'm really doing it by, um... God, everything is really orange in here today, huh? Am I wrong? My face looks really orange. Hmm. It's not. I don't know what's, what's up with the lighting. Let me see. Turn this little bit there that kind of fixed it beautiful my lighting was on the wrong color and I just noticed um you know what I oh I like that one I kind of want to use this tree instead of instead of these I think I kind of want to do that so let's get rid of all this I've changed my mind I know they don't technically like it, but that's why we're playing on Sandbox. But I want to use this tree because I like how this one looks a lot. It's one of my favorite trees to use as a bush. Um, let's see. Like that is good. How'd you make the glass fencing in the front? I'd love to see what you used. It's just the glass pieces, um, Pink Wombat. That is just the, um, like the, the build pieces. That's all it is. And then it's surrounded by um, uh, painted wood beams or painted wood planks or whatever they're called. Just the normal, normal planked ones. Yeah, very simple, <clears throat> very simple. But if you do wanna see how it's built, uh, it'll be in the speed build. So you can watch it. <laughs> I'm loving Animal Crossing at the moment, although I'm having a debate because I was always going to build this island as a summer island, but now I'm so tempted to make it an autumn island. I am 100% building mine as an autumn island because I love the autumn aesthetic. Let's do one right here, I think. Trying to keep the bushes and stuff to the edge and that way um, we keep some stuff kind of open and I think I want to do, let's do a little bit of train, uh, really quickly. My hair is still drying, so I'm going to play with it a bit cause it's kind of sticking to my head. Um, a little bit of terrain. So this isn't so just flat. I think that's also bothering me. Oh yeah. And I was thinking about it last night 
and I want to do um, I want to do some concrete around the base of this to make it look like it's kind of like dug down I guess maybe I don't know we'll see my idea was like make it look like they couldn't burrow out because prairie dogs are such good diggers right I don't want them to to dig out of the habitat I know they won't but you know make it look like that because we're trying to think about realism with Mayberry Park Zoo uh, what is coming up in let's build a zoo I don't know yet because I haven't played so I don't know what animals we're gonna unlock we got capybaras and snakes last time and then they just released their first kind of update patch um, this morning. I think I saw the notification. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, I actually don't think I like the grass. I think I like the soil instead. But I wanted to see, is there a difference? Oh, yes. Okay. So I want to do like this kind of soil here and kind of lighter patches where they're going to run around. So let's do all this and then do kind of lighter, lighter around the areas that they're going to walk around a lot. Give it a little bit of variation. There we go. Starting to look a little more realistic. Shoot, I was so scared for a second because you lost connection. No problem. No problem, we're gonna be here for a little bit. So if you do lose connection, you'll have plenty of time to, uh, to refresh it, close it, restart it, come back again. <laughs> Um, this is amazing. You're a huge inspiration. Thank you so much, Simulation Life. I appreciate it. Um, what is this tree? Oh, it's one of those trees. Not fitting for our habitat. Um, maybe I should add some more rocks because I think that's, that's what I'm missing. Um, I've been, I have an idea for a reel, uh, for Instagram because there's this audio in this girl that has like this really thick accent. Um, and she just says like these rocks, look at these rocks, like over and over and over again. <laughs> and I think it's hilarious. I'm not going to attempt to do the, um, what's it called? The accent. Uh, but I want to, um, uh, do like a real, basically just placing rocks with that as the audio. I think that would be really funny. <laughs> Really funny. It probably doesn't sound funny as I'm talking about it, um, but it, it to me, I, I can picture it in my head. Hey, Tom, how's it going? How are you? Hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing really well. I was telling uh, chat just a little bit ago when we first started, I'm really tired. <laughs> so if I look tired or sound tired or I'm acting tired, uh, it's accurate. Is accurate because I spent all day at Disneyland yesterday all day at Disneyland and I had a fantastic day um, but I'm tired because we walked around a lot did a lot all right so I just want to whoopsies I just want to kind of line this a bit so that it, we have some stuff going on in the background like that good good see bring this up to there because it can't be a stream without placing some rocks can't be a savannah stream without placing some rocks good morning gustavia gustavia yeah i said that right fantastic i think i said it right let me know if i said it wrong um and welcome to the stream i lost my train of thought for just a second <laughs> Uh, let's put some rocks over here, some rocks over there, some rocks for you. You get a rock, you get a rock, you get a rock. Rocks for everyone. A little bit more coming down the hill there underneath this little log. These aquatic rocks, these ones in specific. My favorite. My favorite. Favorite, favorite, favorite. I'll be as tired as you tomorrow. What are you doing today that's going to make you so tired tomorrow? I have to go back to work tomorrow. I had yesterday and today off. I have a weird schedule this week again. Um, but it's not a it's not a bad weird schedule. It's just a weird schedule. So I, I had um, yesterday off because I worked Sunday. And then I have today off because it's Veterans Day. It's a holiday. Um, and then... 
I work tomorrow and then I have um, Saturday and Sunday off uh, because it's my weekend. So kind of a weird schedule, but not bad. Not bad. All I have to do is make it through tomorrow. Make it through tomorrow. I like this. I like this a lot, but it needs more. Um, it needs more of the grass and more of the bush bushes, grass and bushes. <laughs> Rocks rock. They absolutely do. No problem, sock. Thanks for hanging out. Personally, for me, I think adding more trees makes my zoo look better because placing rocks to me um, when I do it is quite tedious. It can be, but then once you get into kind of like a flow, I feel like it gets less tedious. But I also add tons of trees to my zoo, so I completely get that as well. Completely get that. Add some grass around with the best grass piece that ever existed the only grass piece well i guess not the only the best low-lying grass piece <laughs> put that there some over here over here and then we got to focus a little bit on some of the surrounding stuff because i want i want this guest stuff uh done so that it looks like looks like an actual zoo actual real life zoo uh tired yeah i know that four hours overtime after 12 hour shift last night oh my gosh so a 16 hour day yeah you have every right to be tired what do you do for work that made you spend uh four hours on overtime because that's a lot that is a lot Tomorrow, my favorite singer in the world releases a re-recording of one of her albums. So in so in my plan to get up early to listen to the songs. Aha. Very cool. Very cool. All right. So I think <coughs> I think I think I think I think. Uh, hello, uh, Lucien. Is that how you say it? Good morning. How are you? I think that is going to be kind of it for the enclosure. The only thing I'm stuck on is the fact that this kind of looks plain to me. So I kind of want to put a tree, a tree over there so that it will be less plain. But where did that forget what it was called. Where did that tree go that we used as the bushes? I know I could just click on it, but I kind of want a different version of it. Here it is. Uh, maybe not that one. This one? Let's see. The problem I have with putting this tree over here, that is, that's huge. That doesn't work. That's a, um, is that it casts a really big shadow. And that I don't, I don't necessarily want, like, I don't know. I feel like that looks too big for the habitat and that one looks a little too plain. That one could potentially work. Um, maybe it's okay having the building in shadow. Maybe it's okay and maybe let me rotate this so it's leaning a little bit this way, a little bit that way. I guess that looks okay. Let's see. I guess that looks okay. Yeah, that doesn't look bad. That doesn't look bad. If I hate it later, I'll delete it. But for now, I don't think that looks bad. <laughs> Uh, question, uh, for your wooden fence, did you use the climbable logs? Uh, no, I did not. Those are the, uh, Africa logs that came with the Africa pack. Um, so I think they're still climbable. Don't quote me on that. Uh, these ones right here are the, the African logs. Um, the African logs are recolorable. So that's why they kind of look, uh, monotone like that because I recolored them to look that way. Add 
this right there. Perfect. You have to go. Bye, Maja. Hope you have a good day. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it as always. Prairie dog enclosures are known to be plain, to be fair. I know, but plain does not work well with YouTube. <laughs> plain does not work well with YouTube. So I'm thinking, just so you guys are in, in my thought process, that this is going to be the thumbnail picture. Um, because then I can put the cutout of the prairie dog right here. And so that's kind of the angle that I'm, angle that I'm working with, angle that I'm going for. Uh, hey Jessica, how are you? Good morning. Or afternoon or nighttime, whatever it is for you. <laughs> Good morning and thanks for hanging out. Uh, love the terrain height variation in this one. Thank you. Yeah, trying to just keep it a little bit like, right, because prairie dogs are going to dig all over the place. So it's not going to be perfectly flat and it's not going to be like flat with a slope down either. Um, so trying to keep that in mind is the idea. Now for surrounding trees, I need to do something. Whoa, not that far back. Goodness gracious. Something for a background. That's a little too big. That's a little too big. There's this black poplar tree. That actually could work being that far away. Uh, nothing special. I'm just a forklift rider, but we have lots of work and not enough people working. 1% unemployment right now. Wow. Wow. That's, uh, that is crazy. That's how uh, it is here. Honestly, in a lot of different places, we're struggling to get, uh, struggling to get, um, workers and, uh, people that want to work. I I'm short staffed. I've been hiring since May. I can't find staff members to work for me. So it's, it's the same everywhere. Ooh, this Oak tree looks kind of nice. I kind of like this one like that right there. Cause that gives, that's a really cool tree. I don't think I've ever used that tree before. So cool. I'm an obsessive fan of her, uh, obsessive fan of, I must've missed the message. I don't know who you're, <laughs> I don't know who you're an obsessive fan of, uh, yeah, uh, Delay Designer's Prairie Dog Enclosure was amazing. I uh, I really like it. I really like her because that was in that was in City Zoo, right? That she made that. Yeah, um, she does a really good job with all of her habitats. I love watching her content. She's a huge inspiration. All right. Um. I think that is good as far as the habitat goes. I want to do some guest things. Um, so I'm trying to think about what kind of signs Mayberry Park Zoo would have uh, in here. And I think, yeah, I didn't really do anything exciting out here other than just place the billboards. So I'm thinking I want to sign right here. Oh, Taylor Swift. Very cool. I send a resume, but the commute would not be nice. <laughs> no, you'd have to be, you'd have to be here. Uh, hey, Hellhound, how are you? So I'm thinking maybe, 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 maybe if we go to facilities and we get our devices and we get the small one, this small TV, because I don't think Mayberry, Mayberry Park Zoo is not going to have, oops, not random rotation. Mayberry Park Zoo is not going to have like massive, massive signs and like over the top education and stuff like that. Um, they're going to have very, very simple. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> I, I need to align to surface. Nope, align to surface and make it so that it is, uh, there we go. Snap into the angles there. Um, yeah, so not over the over the top stuff, but like real simple education. So something like this, I think will be good if we just kind of raise this up and then make make a stand for it somehow. 
but put a little education sign there. I think will be a good idea. Good morning, Troy. How are you? Thanks for hanging out. I love <laughs> start over with that. I love Rudy's Yosemite Zoo, your River Rock and Franchise Zoo. I always forget what it's called, <laughs> uh, Tolly Zoo. And one of Delady Zoo's, I can't remember the name right now though. All wonderful creators. There are, there are so many super talented, wonderful Planet Zoo creators. So I am, um, I am certainly not alone by any means on that front. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, I'm thinking there is a wooden piece. Doo, doo, doo. Wow, it's a lot of font pieces. I forget how many font pieces we have in the game. This wooden piece, not fat enough. This one, I might have to use two of them. And I don't know, I don't know if this is gonna look good, but we're gonna try it like so. Bring this down like so. Um, like that. Which animal is this habitat for? Hey Titan, this is for the uh, prairie dogs. The black tailed prairie dogs. Like that. I think that is kind of Mayberry Park's style. I think that this right here is kind of what they would have. Not Nothing too like fancy or over the top or anything like that. Just some like really simple wooden pieces. Um, so I like that. And then we'll just duplicate it and we'll put one over here as well. So that we get some education on both sides like that. Yeah. I like that, that's nice. It's nice. And then, I mean, other than that, to be honest, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, doing well, just another day at work. Do you have me on in the background? Am I your background noise? <laughs> what do you do for work, Titan? Uh, oh, sorry, not Titan, Troy. <laughs> I read the message and then the wrong name. <laughs> Troy. Uh, sometimes I feel like we need a tab just for font pieces separate from the rest of the scenery. Yeah, you know what? That would actually be a really good idea because that would get it out, out of the way out of the way so that it wasn't a bother. Okay, very cool. Um, I think, I think, oh God, my neighbor's dogs are going crazy. I know I've, I've pretty much figured out that you guys can't hear it, but it just, it's so annoying. <laughs> I love dogs. I love them so much and barking is totally okay. But when it's consistent and all the time, uh, it gets a little bit wearing. A little bit wearing. Like, my dogs bark. My dogs bark when people come to the door and uh, they aren't expecting it. You know, they, they bark because they're protecting their house. And that is completely acceptable and okay. But they bark for a couple minutes, maybe. And then that's it. They stop. But these dogs, I mean, like, I'm talking about, like, hours of barking. Hours. Best and Slot also made a really cool Australian zoo with really cool backstory that you won't spoil. You know what? I really, I really enjoy uh, Best in Slot. Recently, I've been watching like his massive coverage of Jurassic World Evolution 2 because he's a fantastic creator when it comes to that. Um, excuse me, but I, uh, I don't actually remember seeing his, some of his Planet Zoo stuff. I know I've watched some of it. But off the top of my head, I can't, I can't picture like things that he's built or anything like that. Let's see. Bring this back against the path a little bit more. Just trying to keep it cohesive, right? So this is out in the front area. So bringing it back over to here to make sure it, it looks, looks cohesive. Like the zoo is all one piece. And actually what I might do is let's raise this up. And then we'll make this like a raised planter bed is what we'll do. So if we get the, where are they? Oh, I'm still searching for temperate, that's why. Uh, yep, you're my background. I'm a design engineer, so you work with CAD programs all day. I don't know what CAD programs are, but very cool. Very cool, design engineer. Um, not aligned to surface, please. 
Uh, you just got a new puppy and she's chaotic. New puppies are very exciting. What kind of puppy? New puppies are exciting, but they're a lot of work. <laughs> I uh, am not gonna lie. I am very happy with the fact that my dogs are uh, not puppies anymore. I mean, they're still, they're puppies at heart, but they're not, they're not puppies in the sense that like they're trained. And so they, they no longer, you know, go to the bathroom on the floor. <laughs> and stuff like that so very happy with that because the puppy phase is uh definitely a commitment to uh to deal with so we'll put that there and then i'm pretty sure i have brambles on the other one the other like the entrance so we'll bring those out just to kind of keep it cohesive because now we are out of the prairie dog habitat so we can do the same kind of foliage that we have out in the front oh my goodness you guys are chatting away <laughs> it's like four or five messages that came in all at once hold on one sec i'll catch up let me let me place these bushes these bushes 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 that looks good and then grassland i think um, we have one dog in the building that barks all day and all night. It's cute, but the barking makes us crazy. Yeah, I just, I can't. And I'm somebody that likes, um, to sleep with my window open pretty much all the time because I like, I like to be, uh, cold and then made warm by a blanket. <laughs> um, so I sleep with my window open all the time and it, that just like lets the noise in at night when I'm trying to sleep, which is a bummer because I want to be comfortable heat wise, but then I have to listen to that. Uh, hey, thanks for the sub. If you're watching chat, I don't recognize the name, but thank you and welcome. Um, oh, it's a beagle dachshund mix. How cute. Has it, um, I mean, it's a puppy. Does it do that like beagle bray, like the call that the beagles do? <laughs> They're funny when they do that, but they can be very noisy too. Um, isn't that habitat way too open? I mean, like accessible for birds of prey in the end, they hunt prairie dogs, right? Yes, you're not incorrect. However, I don't have a, a good reason for you, um, but part of what I was basing it off of is the enclosure for the meerkats actually at the San Diego Zoo. And it's, the San Diego Zoo's open like that, but with has uh, trees around it. So that's kind of why, one for background uh, aesthetics and stuff like that, but two, um, for that reason, like that's why this tree is here and that's why these trees are here to kind of like give a little bit more coverage. Um, but I don't know enough about it to like, is this enough trees? Are they in the right spot? That I, I don't know. So, um, but that was kind of the thought process behind that. Uh... Hey Oliver, sorry, I just got home from school and a shower and going to play Animal Crossing as well as watching the stream. Nice. Have fun with Animal Crossing. We are going to stream some more Animal Crossing, but I was having a lot of trouble with my capture card. So last time, like the first time we streamed, the only time we streamed, um, I wasn't able to hear the audio, but you guys were. Um, so it worked well enough. But when I looked into it, I think it's because I have, um, I ordered a capture card that was a little bit different for whatever reason. Um, and I'm not quite sure, but I've, I've ordered the correct one that should be here tonight. So hopefully if I get it all set up and whatnot, um, this weekend, the plan will be to stream, uh, a little bit more animal crossing, uh, cause I love that game. And then later today, uh, I will likely be jumping on, not on stream, but be connecting with, uh, Estan because he's supposed to do a, um, Mario Kart stream and I can't let him go around thinking that, uh, he would win in a Mario Kart race. So, uh, it has to be settled. <laughs> so, uh, so excited about that. So it's probably going to be like seven o'clock his time. I think he said, which is four o'clock my time, something like that. Anyway, so we'll either, I'll either jump on and race with him, or if he just races by himself, jump on and hang out. Support my buddy. He's, 
He's been MIA for a while because the guy had to go and be an adult and, you know, have the most adorable child in the world. And now he's too busy for us, you know, because his family takes up his time. God, the nerve of that guy. The nerve of that guy. Now I don't have my background noise in the evenings like I normally do. But he's getting he's getting back into streaming, so it's, I'm happy to happy to see that. Is my dog better? Thank you so much for asking. She's still in a cone. Um, for those of you that don't know, Nalu, uh, my little husky mix, um, like lacerated her leg, got seven staples, and um, she's doing good. Yeah, she's she's definitely doing good. So thank you, thank you for asking. I think there needs to be a fence behind here, but I don't want it to be like the metal fence. It needs to be like a don't don't look at me fence kind of thing um let me see if i have a blueprint or something that i want to use not that this um any of my fences these are my africa ones mm, none of those what about my oh whoa 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 not that what is this oh this is africa fence two um you know what? This one might work. Let me see. This one may may potentially work. Let's see. Um, but she's doing much better. She will probably, I'll probably take her staples out on Monday. Um, Cause she had to have them in for eight to 12 days and it's looking really good. Her, her laceration is, uh, her wound is healing up really really nicely so it's it's looking nice yeah i like this this looks like a very um standard cheap zoo fence <laughs> and that's what i'm going for um but she did the little jerk yesterday so the cone is two pieces of plastic that like they make a circle right and then they overlap she from the inside like this part that flaps up chewed it, ate it. <laughs> she didn't get the cone off, but she like peeled that piece of plastic up and, uh, and chewed it to pieces. So the cone still works. It now just looks like it went through a blender. Hey, husky mixes. That's what I get for getting one, two actually. The other one's over here passed out. Koa's my good boy. He'll uh, he'll sit and kind of just be relaxed. So he gets to sit in here and and hang out this morning. The other the other two are with dad, <laughs> doing dog things with him. All right, let's move this back. Who I got really hungry all of a sudden. I like was not hungry at all, and then all of a sudden my stomach like kind of like flipped and was like, hey, by the way, you're starving. I have to fix that after stream. Maybe I'll order some order some really good food. I need to get out of the habit, but for today, I think I'm okay of being in the habit. Uh, are you releasing a Tolly episode this week? Yes, that's the goal. Um, that would be tomorrow, huh? Cause that's Friday. I've definitely worked on an episode already. <laughs> I know what day it is. I know when my episodes come out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's the plan. So, uh, hopefully I'll be able to record one, uh, today while I'm doing content stuff. Content stuff. I like that right there. I think that looks good. And then maybe rocks is a good idea. So if we do this and maybe cap it off with rocks, question mark. I don't know if this will look good or not. So we'll see. Like that. Grab this one, bring this one down. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's a nice little planter area, right? They'd be like walking over there and we can even um, put some benches because benches are a good idea. Actually, what benches did I use out in the front? Glad she's doing better. Yeah, me too. I just can't wait for her cone to come off. <laughs> I want her cone off because she's rather annoying with it. Um, yeah, we can put some benches here and here, and a trash can. Do I have trash cans out here? I do, I do. Because I can remember trash cans when I'm working on a sandbox zoo, but I can't remember trash cans when I'm working on a franchise zoo and they actually matter. Oh, goodness. Uh, stretch a little bit, sorry. 
Oh, I'm very tired. <laughs> I like the planters. Thank you, Nathan. Okay, I'm tired now. I was playing Yeet the Toddler with my two babes I'm watching. I'm not in shape enough to throw a two-year-old. <laughs> I don't think I'm in shape enough to throw a two-year-old either. Yeah, because then look. See, now when we do our thumbnail here, we've got a little bit over here and it's not just blank and boring. That was the whole goal. Um, so let's get rid of this over here. Get rid of that over there. Delete. Ooh, what's this tree? Uh, oh, it's the common ash tree. It just looks kind of cool actually all the way over there. So maybe we put this right here. I like this tree. Maybe duplicate it and put another one here. Whoa. Uh, no, that's too much. That's too much. I like that open. Uh, prairie dogs, you think? Yes, it's for prairie dogs. Prairie dogs. Look, they're in there. See? Look how cute they are. Ta-da! Little prairie dog guy. In fact, actually, you guys, he's sitting in like a good location for the possible thumbnail picture. So is this one sitting up like that in the, uh, in the sun. So I think, um, I think I might label this one as done other than the billboard signs. So I've got to figure out, figure out a billboard thing. So let me actually do this. I'm going to bring this out this way. Cause this is where I want the Thing to continue and maybe we'll do another little habitat right here or something um actually in fact let me do maybe something like this to kind of set it up for set it up for another kind of habitat if we do it here like that Perfect. I want lots of lots of walkways and things. Prairie dogs are remodeled meerkats? Possibly. That would make a great thumbnail. Yeah, the little prairie dog sitting there with his little face. How cute. Um, we need a staff path. This staff path. I'm going to connect it off of here. And it'll go back behind here. And I do not care at this moment... Uh, that they have to like run up a really steep hill. <laughs> We're gonna leave it like that. Okay, cool. So let's stop, stop. Still need to hook up my uh, stream deck because then I'll be able to hit a button and do that and not have to uh, go in and actually do it manually. I'm gonna head out now. This was super fun for uh, the time you could be here. Thanks, Doodle Sims. Appreciate it. Now, little prairie dog. We need to take a picture of him, him or her, whoever it is. Let's get nice up close and personal. Go to photo mode. So for those of you that don't know that this is how, this is how we, whoa, this is how we take thumbnails. Oh my goodness gracious. Hold on. Let's get back and, and reset here. I was freaking out for a minute. Get up nice and personal close to this little guy. I think maybe... Maybe from the sides that we could see his cute little tail. Although the tail may not be in the, uh, in the thumbnail. Like that, I think. And then we go to take the thumbnail. And we go to add our filter, we add the green screen, and then we bring the green screen all the way, hello, all the way as close as we can without cutting off his little body, like that. I'll take one like this, but then I'll also take one where it's a little further back because God, why are you jumping so much? There, one like that. Cause I don't know, I don't know how far forward I'm gonna put him in um, in the thumbnail. Okay, so we got him. Now, just in case, let's go, oops, wrong button this way. Let's go over here 
And for this one, I'm actually gonna delete this so that it's not in the photo. And we'll go over here. Maybe we could put them both in the thumbnail. You never know. Um... <coughs> maybe like, maybe like that. Let's see. Make the green screen back up a little bit. Let's start over. Let's get the camera over here. Zoom in on him like that. Now we grab our green screen and we bring it all the way to his feet like that. Snap. Great. Fantastic. So now we have a couple pictures of them. Let's hit play and let the kind of enrichment items drop and fall. I don't need to keep her hot. Go away. Sandbox. <laughs> I've always wondered how the thumbnail process was done. How cool. Yeah. So that's a little bit behind the scenes. So we use that green screen. Uh, with the green screen, that is a sure possibility. Thumbnail making lessons with Savannah. Yeah, that's, I mean, I, I got to do it anyway. I figured I might as well take you guys, uh, take you guys with me. Woo, lunchtime uh, for Estan. I, uh... I was just talking about you. <laughs> Your ears must have been burning. <laughs> All good things, obviously, as always. Um, this education sign. Um, let me see if I have anything. Hold on, I'm gonna pull this off the screen real quick. I'm gonna see if I have anything that I've made before that I can kind of just reuse. Um but I don't know. I also can't remember where I've saved all my billboards. Hmm. Where the heck did I even save any of them? Planet Zoo. Aha, I have a folder called billboards. That would be helpful. Um, I don't think any of these um, yeah so these are the ones I have if you guys want to see um, but they're all kind of horizontal built they're not kind of vertical up and down so I don't think these are the ones for Mayberry Park um, like the outside ones I don't think any of these guys work for that hmm I mean we could just do we could just do in-game ones um, but where are the that's all mine um, but not the we want the uh, the general education ones, whatever those ones are called. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. I know. I was telling chat, Estan, that you had to go and be an adult and have the most adorable baby ever. And now she takes up all of your time and I'm feeling neglected and abandoned. That's what I was telling them. <laughs> <laughs> that how dare you leave and stop making content and streaming because you have a little baby girl to take care of. It's absurd. Okay, that's not going to work because they don't they don't work that way. Should we? I mean, the other thing we could do is we could just rotate this. Let's actually rotate it so that it's on the 90 degree turn like that. And then we can pull these apart and just make it, make it the same, but we'll make it, uh, make it so it looks like it will hold a horizontal one instead of a, um, vertical one. Like that. And then we can just do, uh, wide and we need black tailed 
black tailed prairie dog. Oops, I made it upside down. <laughs> so we'll, we'll rotate it so that it's not upside down. Hello, rotate. Like so. Like that. I mean, that doesn't look bad. I'm, I'm not, I'm not too mad about that. My schedule's trying to normalize. I know it has been. You've actually been streaming quite a lot. I was just telling them I'm very excited about later on for, um, to watch you play some Mario Kart and, uh, stream some Switch stuff. Very excited about that. My schedule has been equally as crazy. I just, I don't have a child to blame it on. <laughs> Mine's just because my work is crazy. Let's raise this up and put this one over here. Perfect. There we go. Okay. So now that we have that, now we need to take our background picture, right? The whole background one. Um, so let's get this away and see how we can do that. Uh, a tip that actually uh, Delady helped me with is that the contrast between the sky and what you're building is really important for making thumbnails stand out. So I always, instead of just kind of doing this and like lowering down and taking the picture like that, I always tilt it down, look a little bit up, and that way you get some of that blue in the sky. You also get more of a realistic angle as far as like what the guests might be looking at um, for, for like their, their line of sight and stuff. It's funny timing Estan considering that I had just found my new baby sister on the 21st. So I, oh, you just had your new, I thought you, you was like, you lost your new baby sister. <laughs> you just had your new baby sister on the 21st. So I kind of know what you're going through. <laughs> Thank you, Estan. I wanted to do something because prairie dog habitats are oftentimes very, very plain. So I needed something to, to spice it up. Um, and then I'm going to back up a little bit so that I can zoom in. Whoa, not the green screen. <laughs> we don't want our green screen on this one so that I can zoom in with this field of view like that. And that kind of helps get some of the kind of background noise away. Like some of this kind of extra stuff that was around. This might be a little bit too much. I'm going to zoom out just a bit. Nope, that's in. I want out. Hello, thank you. It's being kind of glitchy this morning. Like that. And yes, just like that. Perfect. We'll snap that one. And then let me see if we can do maybe one a little bit more, more like this. That looks nice. I always take a couple um, because I never know when I get into Photoshop what I'm going to like and what I'm not going to like. I actually think I like that second one a little bit better because um, it gets some of this detail in and everything. So I like that. Uh, you and Zoof are cluttered champs. Um, it comes from, oh, where are you going, Koa? Hop down off the bed. You're gonna come say hi to everybody. Where are you? Over here. Hi. I guess you can see him better over here. Koa, come over here on this side. This is a good boy. Come here, say hi to people. <laughs> you can barely see his little face in the corner. <laughs> Koa dog, he's a good boy. He came down to say hi. And I don't know what he's doing. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah did you wake up from your nap and now you want something from me i don't have anything for you i need you to continue napping because i'm still playing video games does anybody else tell their children that please nap more i need to play my video games <laughs> oh, i know his little waggy tail he's very happy um what was i saying before he jumped down he completely distracted me uh hey Vimo. Doggo. I think she'll use the standing prairie dog. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Uh, so the other thing that I need to do is take cinematics. 
but I won't do that with you guys because I want to use my, uh, I want to use OBS to record and I don't want my face in it. I guess I could turn my face off. I could go to, I could go to, um, that. <laughs> uh, yes. S stands like, that is my life right now. Emma, please take a nap so daddy can play video games. Um, okay. Let's save this. Save, 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 save. All right. Save that. And then, uh, you guys want to come into Photoshop with me? I mean, I told you that I was going to have to, uh, make my thumbnail anyway, right? So let's quit Planet Zoo. Go to the desktop. Be black for just a minute. Uh, my cats like to assist with the gaming process. Do they sit on your, um, sit on your keyboard and ruin things? <laughs> That's what my cats have done before. Especially when I had a laptop and I would leave it on the couch. They would sit on my, sit on my laptop and ruin it. Um, so, oh, I need to move my files into the right spot. So let me pull this over here and go to my files and get our new little screenshots. Did I even make a folder, I think, for my... The amount of folders that I have on my computer, you guys. You would be amazed. Um, I have to keep everything organized, but that means that I have, like, like 50,000 different folders. Let's move this into Prairie Dog so that we have it. Perfect. And if we go to Photoshop, open it up. Not Jurassic World stuff. Not working on that yet. Uh, Planet Zoo videos... Uh, Mayberry Park Zoo, Prairie Dog, and here are our photos. So we'll bring them all over here. Yeah, gaming laptop. I haven't played on a gaming laptop in forever. So now that I see it in Photoshop, hmm. So I do very, very light editing. Basically, all I do is raise the brightness a little bit and the contrast a little bit. And that's, that's basically it. I don't do anything more than that. 20 and 15. And I generally do this, the exact same numbers each time. Oh, my nose. Sorry. It itches. Um, hmm. <coughs> All right. Let me open up my, my pictures, my thumbnail, um, template. Drag this onto there, drag this onto there, and then we can get these lined up and we can kind of see, see what works better. But I do use Photoshop for all of my thumbnails. They sit on the keyboard and chase the cursor. <laughs> uh, it's very cute. I can't be mad, honestly. Worth the chaos. <laughs> so, I think think I like this one a bit better. So see, when I'm thinking about this, this one right here has some empty space over here. It has a little more empty space up here. And this one doesn't. This one kind of focuses on the habitat itself. Um, but what I think I may actually do with this one is enlarge it a bit and scooch it over just for the sake of the fact that I know I kind of want to put the prairie dog on this right hand side. And so I want to leave, I want to leave some space so that like all of this is visible, um, in, in the, the thumbnail. So then we can actually close these and I don't ever save them just in case I want to do some crazy editing later. I want the original photo, uh, for the screenshots. We go over to these guys and we're going to change them all into layers here. I probably won't use this one. So we'll start with these two. Um, if you go to select color range like that, it'll select all of the green and delete. Voila, it's all gone. Very, very easy. Uh, select color range, select the green, delete. Great job. And then I do the exact same editing for this one because I want them to look like they came from obviously the same, same picture. So image adjustments. 20 and 15. Great. And then all we have to do is drag these guys over onto my thumbnail so that we have a couple different options for them. Let's try, let's try this one first. So then we got to make him really big. 
<laughs> That's the next option is making making the animals really big. Bring him over here. Um, something like that. And then we'll have to get rid of the background. See, the problem with this one is um, this ground color is pretty much the exact same as his little body. So getting rid of it's gonna be a pain. I, I might have to do it by hand. Uh, making me miss graphic design class. Haven't worked in Photoshop in like six months. Uh, oh wow, the edit made the picture look so much more like real life. Uh, the bench was cut in half, yeah. You always wondered how people do this? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I totally don't mind showing it off. I mean, it's not, not a, a, a secret, I guess. So this one, for those of you that said I was gonna use the standing one, actually may work better. So the other thing that I do is I always drag the animal above my border because then it kind of stands out. See how it makes the animal like come forward towards you? But I may actually use him for pretty much the reason that he fits in this thumbnail a little better. This one, although very cute, see how he hides, he hides a lot of this rock, he hides a lot of the building, and he kind of, he, he, he kind of encroaches on the build a little bit too much. Whereas this one kind of sits real nice right here. I may make him a little bigger, a little bigger so that he kind of sits just like that on the side of the habitat. And that's, I mean, that's it. How long did that take me? Not very long, right? <laughs> you can make a Photoshop action for adjusting the brightness and contrast. One click. I know I could. I There are so many more efficient ways to do everything that I do. And I'm completely aware of them. I'm just, I, I don't know. I don't know why I haven't set it up. Because I know there is. I, I totally know there is. Um, I just started making video templates for my videos. I used to start a brand new project um, every single time and edit all the audio the same. And, and so I just got on that. <laughs> Prairie dog looking pretty cute. Yeah, he is looking pretty cute. All right, so that that's gonna be the thumbnail. I, th I thinks, I thinks. I think that is what I want. Let me just double check. So once I get the animal that I want, let's get rid of that one. Um, Let's just double check that I don't like this one better. Although, now that I say that, if we zoom in, I actually do think I like this one a little better. What do you guys think? That's quite epic. Prairie dog, looking pretty cute. Oh, I already read that one. <laughs> I think I like this one better. This is A, this is B, A, and B. I think I like B better. It zooms in a bit more, and that the angle looks a bit better on this one too. Question, just look back a few vids and on a few vids, and a few vids seem to have unedited thumbnails. Does it happen often, or was it just too good to edit? What do you mean? Um... What do you mean too good to edit? Like, like it didn't have like a animal in front of it or something like that? I'll save this. Stop looking at photos. Michelle, we're working on our thumbnail right now. We'll get back to Planet Zoo in just a minute. We'll get back in just a minute. Where am I going? Planet Zoo, videos, and Mayberry Park Zoo, and Prairie Dog, and Prairie Dog thumbnail. And we'll save it as a JPEG. Beautiful and perfect. Great. So that is all saved. Wait, you took the picture from your game? Yeah. So this is this is the screenshot from our build. This is our little prairie dog guy. Um, you like the second one better as well? Yeah, B. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So much fun watching it behind the scenes. Uh, it can help so much. It looks great. Thank you. Yeah, I hope it can help you guys. Uh, so then no, we won't because that would be saving my template and I don't want to save over my template. I won't save these guys because I can easily take the green screen uh, off again. And that's it. We'll go back into Planet Zoo. Ta-da! Thumbnail done! <laughs> now I don't have to worry about it. I just have to take cinematics and talk about it. 
and then it will be done. Yay! Uh, so what is tomorrow? Friday? Uh, it's gonna be a Tolly episode uh, tomorrow. So what if I'll stream for another like 30 minutes or so? Let's jump into Tolly Zoo and do a little bit of building um, because I haven't in a while. Uh, and I think it'll be fun. We can work a little bit on our uh, cougar habitat, I think. How do I like JWE2 so far? I really like it. I'm really having a lot of fun with it. I really am. Um, I haven't gotten to play nearly as much as I want to, uh, just because uh, I've been busy. But uh, but I really do like it. I'm very much enjoying it. <gasps> I just realized I, um, I got a cake pop. <laughs> it's right here in front of me. Ooh, that's what I'm going to eat after I'm done with my stream. Sounds very, very good. Very good. What do you expect for the next DLC or update? I have no idea. That's a very good question, but I have no idea <coughs> what is going to be coming. Um, but it won't be for another month or so. I'm, see, I'm curious because their, their three month kind of rotation would be January, I think, because October, in the beginning of October is when, um, is when the last one came out. Oh my God, why are there so many notifications over there? My goodness, adopt a habitat species. Great, a little bit of money. Um, so, but then I'm also wondering if they'll push it up and do like a December something. So I just, I don't know. Yeah, Tolly Zoo. Um, so we started this little, little thing with our cougars. Actually, this is probably a pretty good time too, just to kind of test, test if they can go through this. So if I duplicate it and bring it down, let's see if I put it down on the ground, um, if they can actually go through here, which I don't know if they will be able to. Go to habitat and hit play. Um, I would, I would really love birds. I would really love birds, but I just don't know, like, I don't know what it will be realistically. Let's see, this needs to, I'm wondering if this can make my life, wow, it's going to make my life easy. <gasps> That's fantastic. <laughs> now I can just drag this all the way over. Like so, like that, perfect. And then, um, let me see, these ones didn't go with it. Slide these over so that they still match up. Um, hey, Elephant Puppet, how are you? Hope you're doing good. Oh, man. I thought I clicked, but I did not. Thought I clicked, but I did not. But yeah, I would absolutely love birds. I would love specifically flying birds. So not, not things like emus or, you know, I know we already have ostriches or penguins and stuff like that. I would love specifically, specifically flighted birds um, is what I would hope for. All right, let's bring this out over here. And hopefully this will be wide enough for them. Might might have to make it taller, but I feel like the height is not so much of an issue as the, the width is. Like that. I think the walkway is way too thin, yeah. So we're, we're fixing it right now. I kind of made it real quickly a few episodes ago figuring that once we got the animals in, I was going to have to test it. The hitboxes for some uh, structure pieces are a nightmare. Well, the hitboxes for some of the animals are a nightmare too um, because they have to be able to like turn around, I think it is. Um, although what we might be able to do, because if you use some of the climbing pieces, um, I think that helps them uh, with the traversable area of being able to kind of climb through something like this. But that hopefully um, will be a little bit better. 
And let's grab these and bring these over like that. And then we can bring it all the way through so that it has a nice floor. Um, I feel if they introduced a mechanic like Jurassic World Evolution 2 aviaries, they could do it, but I don't think it will happen, honestly. You never know. Never know. I have no idea what Planet Zoo is planning. I, uh, but I do hope for birds. That is for sure. I do definitely hope for birds. Let's see. Let's grab this. Bring this over here. Fix that in. Great. Now let's see. That looks like, in theory, it should work, right? So if we do this again and click on you and hit play, hopefully you update. Uh, you can go on top of it. Let me see actually if we, um, if we do that, if we grab some of the climbable pieces like this and um, actually let me go into the group so that I can do it that way. This way like that. Bring this down level and like that. Because if we do this kind of thing, sometimes they can uh, like climb it and, and go through. So let's just see if they actually do go through this. And then we can kind of just hide this in there. Okay, so that's, that's that. Let's actually do it this way and bring it to the ground so that they can climb up on it. go. I had a heck of a time making climbing structures for your snow leopards. They have so much, they had to have such tall doorways. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Some of the hit boxes. That's what we were just talking about are, are rather big, rather big. So see now, now it looks like they can climb through here. Huh? Okay, so if we get rid of this, and if I take this one and spin it around and put it up here, let me see, because they should want to go up onto this one um, if we put it there because it'll be escaping. So let's see if they, if they do that. This kind of sucks testing it in a franchise zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I test these kind of things in a sandbox zoo and when they escape it, it doesn't hurt anybody, but this one sandbox or uh, franchise zoo, if they escape, we're going to get some unhappy people. Yeah. See? Okay. So it says, it says they can climb it. So let's see if they do. We're going to have a lot to clean up. Today's episode of, of Tali Zoo might be a little chaotic because I'm uh, I'm going to record the episode after this and we're going to have a whole bunch of weird notifications. <gasps> Are you going over there? Go, go, go. Escape. I've given you a way out. Take it. Oh god. Okay, hold on. We're going to have to address this first though. I don't want to I don't want to <coughs> let it get too What? Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. I, uh, kind of let the lemurs out on purpose to, to get a video. <laughs> so let's move you back in there. Let's move you back in here, please. Great. Animals thirsty, animals hungry. Oh, oops. I totally forgot. They don't even have anything set up in their enclosure. So we need to do that. Man, the zoo is super inspiring. Makes me want to boot your game up uh, every new episode. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I, uh, I've really been enjoying it. Uh, playing with the challenge of actually having to, to do things for the, the animals, right? So let's go cougar and see. Um, I want to give you a scratching post but not the tree scratching one. So we'll do this one and kind of hide it in the tree right here. So it looks like they're scratching the tree. Oh, the terrain, the terrain, it hurts, 
hurts to put things down like that because it ruins it. There we go. All better. All better. Oh, my chat stopped scrolling. I apologize. Uh, you should try if the flooring is traversable. Yeah, I will. Let me just, um, let me fix their welfare real quick so that I don't have to worry about them because otherwise we're going to have more problems than we are, uh, creating or trying to fix. Let's see. Bring this flat again so it doesn't hurt the terrain. Um, we need some food and water. So large food tray. We'll just chuck that right there for, oh, okay. Not right there. We'll put it right there for now. And then a water thing for now as well. Even though we won't keep this, we'll just put it there. Now, hopefully they should be okay. So they got some food enrichment and a toy enrichment. Maybe we'll give them a box too. Put that over there. Okay. Let's double check. Are they okay? Are you okay? Please, please come fill this. Keeper urgently requested would be fantastic. You're getting water. Okay. They should hopefully be okay. And did I, I think I know the answer to this uh, question, but did I actually assign them to a work zone? Um, tiger zone. Dun, dun, dun. Jaguar. No, it doesn't look like it. So let's do new work zone. This one. Yeah. Cause it's not in anything. And then keeper stuff. Actually thinking we want to have a new, new keeper hut, new keeper hut and, um, staff building. So let's do this kind of thing. <sighs> yeah. Many flat pieces are not coded to be traversable. You know, you have to like find the happy medium between, um, between all that and see what works. Is that raised up? I don't, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Um, facilities, staff facilities. We need a keeper hut. We'll do, do a large one. We'll do a large one over here. This, I think this will be kind of temporary. I just want to do it so that, um, we can make sure the cougars are happy and not, not gonna riot. <laughs> Let's connect the path <clears throat> to there <clears throat> and go to zoo again, go to staff and work zones. Um, did I not label that zone? Yeah. Work zone 18 edit, put those two in it, call it cougar. Cougar zone. And then, whoops, we need, we actually need some keepers assigned to that. Uh, not, no, not caretaker keeper. We'll do one. We'll do two because what I think I'll end up doing pause. I think I'll end up making this like a big cat work zone. So we'll do that and then we'll assign you to the cougar zone. Where did it go? Here we go. Great. And then you pay you a little less. There we go. Not training this one. Sorry. I was on the right menu and then I went away from it. Cougar zone. Great. <coughs> oh yeah. And don't forget to check if the cougars are siblings. Thank you. Because I did forget, did forget. Let's see. Are you, please don't be current mate. Oh man. <laughs> Dang it. They're siblings. Grr. Okay. Um, where is our other one? Hello? Where did you go? Uh, what? Where is our, where's our other one? Oh, it's sitting right there in front of me. Okay, cool. Well, it can climb that part. Great. Okay. Who has the better, who has the better stats? You or you? Oh man. They're like pretty much, pretty much identical. Okay. Let's go into animal trading. We'll just see cougar wise. Uh, let's see. Who can we get you or you? And these guys are both 
from Frontier Zoo. So these guys will both be safe. Let's grab you. You're a little bit better without being great. So we'll take you and we'll send you to the zoo. Excuse me. And then we will take you as our female. Nope, you're our male. You as our female. We'll label you as storage. Just in case we need another female. Storage, great. And then we'll label, oh, and actually put you in storage would be awesome. Put you in storage. And then you are gonna be our male. And when the female arrives, we will label her. All right, thank you for reminding me. Hey Zed, how are you? I've mostly been lurking, working on a college project in Planet Zoo, uh, but I've uh, gotta go now. I've had a great rest. Have a great rest of the stream and a great day everyone. Goodness, I don't know why that message took me so, uh, so much difficulty to get through, but thank you for hanging out, Crazy Goat Gus. I really appreciate it. We're gonna wrap up here relatively soon as well. As someone who grew up going to the Philly Zoo a lot, uh, that overhead animal path makes you happy. Good, I'm glad. Yeah, I wanted to do something different uh, with this one. Let's see, did our did our cougar get here? Is she being transported? Hopefully she's being transported. Hello, oh, there she is, great. Okay, cool, or he, sorry, there he is. No, she I was right the first time. Female. Okay, cool. So that is all sorted. What is wrong now? Oh, it's the, it's these guys. You guys get so upset so fast. You don't need to get so upset. There's only two extra of you. It's not even like that many. Okay. You guys will be fine. All right. Um, let's see. I will probably probably I will probably raise this anyway just because now it, it I don't like the shape of it so if I try to get all of this is it gonna behave <gasps> wow it behaved except for the fact that I got the horizontal beam that I don't want like that Yes, perfect. The game is being so nice to me today. So nice. So we'll raise it up. We'll raise it up to about there, I think. That works. Okay, and we can take these and lower these down. And hopefully that will allow them to traverse that. Confusing animal gender again. I know it's a wonder that I can even play this game like somewhat successfully Because <laughs> I always I always confuse everything together But that's okay. I guess it makes it somewhat entertaining. Hopefully We'll see Bye primal have a good day. Thank you so much for hanging out. I do appreciate it as always Let's go ahead and Click that, bring this down so that it's all encompassed and the cougars can't theoretically just escape through that. Bring that over to here. Perfect. I really do like these uh, mesh pieces. Some of my favorite. Bring that there. I think we'll finish this up and then we'll finish up the stream. I, I am very hungry. <laughs> I'm very hungry and I have lots to do today. Hey Koa, what are you doing? It's like over here on my left hand side, just kind of sniffing around on the floor for some reason. Are you impatient? Are you impatient? Growling at me? That's rude. He's a, Koa's a husky mix too. He's a husky cattle dog mix. And the fact that he's a husky mix means that he is also vocal. Is this, I'm gonna do it this way cause that's gonna be too hard on my eyes. Um, he's also vocal. So he talks about everything. Don't nose my hand. <laughs> he wants to, he wants to be pet. So he's, he's 
lifting up his head to push my um push my arm out of the way hey <laughs> i'm trying to play video games here buddy show you off in just a second needy needy little thing you have a 10 year old husky oh koa is uh five are you five are you almost five i think i think he's almost five i think he's almost five i think his birthday i th i think we think his birthday is in uh oh it's in november so i think he's turning five this month the typical i'm bumping your hand routine yeah he and he does it vigorously too heather he like throws my hand in the air he'll do that to wake me up too and it always always freaks me out Maybe he wants an overpass too. <laughs> he wants a tunnel system. He says, mom, I want a tunnel system so I can take myself to the park. Get on it. No, that is not how that works, Koa Dog. All right, there we go. Now we have a tunnel. So hopefully these guys can use this now really well. Let's see, where are you? Where are you? Um, Heat map, hit play. They should be able to use this. <laughs> no, give me pets. I know he's really demanding. Yeah, they should be able to use this now. I mean, it's it's traversable through all these little pieces. And actually, if we take away this beam, this should be traversable as well. So we shouldn't have to have the climbable beam uh, through the center of it, which is nice. Are you going to use it? No, you're going to go to your box. You're going to go to your box. Animal died. Ugh. Okay, call vet. Please come get it. What else? Um, multiple exhibits have low welfare. Oh, it's it's all of the um, it's all of these guys, all of the uh, exhibit animals. Wow, that's a lot of frogs. Let's get rid of you all. To the trade center with you. Great. Let's double check on our turtles. There's a lot of turtles too. My goodness. Uh, you're pregnant, so we'll keep you and keep you to the trade center with everybody else. Fantastic. Perfect. All right, guys. Well, I think, um, I think that's it. Just a little bit of building in Tali Zoo. I know it wasn't too much, but, um, it's almost 10 o'clock and, uh, I'm hungry. I'm going to jump off. I'm going to do some relaxing, some eating, and also some content stuff. Um, so here we'll go. Actually, did I, I don't remember if I set this up again. Oh, I did. Great. There we go. Perfect. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take off, um, do some some contenty stuff, some general general housework work too. I need to not forget about the fact that I have like adult chores to do and stuff. Oh, and I'm tired. So <laughs> I really really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I had a lot of fun today. Um, let me see here. Actually, I'll show you uh, Koa. Let me extend extendo this. Hey, Koa dog. Do you want to come say hi again? Where are you? Come here. There he is. You can say hi. Hey, Koa dog. Sit down. There. Now they can see your face. Look how cute. He's a good boy. Are you ready to be paid attention to, Koa? Are you ready to be paid attention to? <laughs> Fun stream. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much. I hope you have an awesome day too, Snowy Owl. Thanks for hanging out. Happy Independence Poland Day? Independence? Is it Independence or Independence Poland Day? Um, I'm not familiar with that, but have a great day nonetheless. Adulting sucks. Yeah, it does. Thank you, Heather, for the reminder to like the stream. It very much does help out, and I really appreciate it. So if you guys are still here, still hanging out, uh, before you go, leave a like. Hit that hit that like button. Uh, help out the stream a bit. He's a good Koa dog. <laughs> Koa says, please hit the like button for my mama. <laughs> Koa is so cute, assuming that's how you spell his name. It is, yeah, K-O-A. Yeah. He is a good boy. You helping me out? Are you helping promote the stream, Koa Dog? Yeah, he's a good boy. <laughs> He'll sit here forever, too. This is your very first and best stream. Well, hopefully it only gets better from here. So, 
All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take off. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will talk at you guys in uh, whatever stream or video is next. Bye.